Okay, now in this segment, Melinda, what we're going to do is take what we said in the last segment where we showed how tilting this piece of uh, cardboard with the graph paper on it changed the intensity of light, and we're going to apply that concept to the Earth. Right. So I've gotten rid of the overhead, and now we have this light bulb here that's going to represent our sun. And I have a globe to represent the Earth, and the way I have these oriented right now would be the way that the Earth and the sun would be oriented on either the first day of fall or the first day of spring, one of the equinoxes. Right. So on that day, the most intense rays would be over the equator. Right. So I'm going to use our piece of cardboard again here, and I'm going to start with it on the equator. And we notice we've got a certain amount of light that's illuminating the equator there, right? But now as I move this north, notice that same amount of light gets spread over a larger area. Right. And the same thing as we go south from the equator. So we saw before how tilt of the piece of cardboard could affect that. Well, because the Earth's spherical shape, we're getting the same effect as, as we go north. Those, those rays are being spread over a larger area, and they're less intense. And as we go south from the equator, right. they're going to be spread over a larger area and less intense. Correct. So, Joe, to clarify, the natural spherical shape of the Earth is causing the light intensity to be spread out at the North and South Pole, and it's more intense near the tropics, what Ex we're calling the equator. Exactly. Exactly. 